Hi brothers and sisters, it's December 9th of 2017 and I have about three different messages that I just need to get out there. So I'm going to go ahead right away with that. This first message was received on the 29th of November. Blessed are the faithful, for they took no nook or cranny, and the understanding was given that this means the faithful did not hide in shame from the Lord because they turned to the Lord in repentance. And then I heard, as I was shown, a fig tree being shaken. And the Lord said, the children shall be shaken, and some will fall. And then I was given the passage from Revelation 6, um, verse 13, about the fig tree that's shaken from a mighty wind. And then the Lord said, Tell my children, the fig tree is falling. The ones that fall for the fiction fall to the ground. There's no more time for them. These are those. However, he said, those chosen will remain in my kingdom. The ones that fall come from a faraway land. They do not know me. They do not follow me. They are lost without me. They go to and fro. Now there were a couple of passages that came to mind with the last part of the message where he said um, the ones that go to and fro. If we go to chapter 1 in Job verse 7, we find where the Lord had asked Satan, where have you come from? And Satan had answered him by saying, from going to and fro. And then also if we go to the book of Daniel, in chapter 12, verse 4, the Lord said to Daniel, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So now, at the end of this message, I want to go ahead and read um, Revelation 6, verse 12, all the way through verse 17 for you guys it's really important this really does go along with the message and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake and the Sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every freeman hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the, on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? And the next message was received on the 3rd of December. Hi, my little ones. I will tell you some things. You must listen carefully. Satan is planning an all-out war with my people. He is lifting forces against you, my people. You must be on guard, keeping my full armor. He has but a short time, and his fury is raging. This is the time we loose the chains that bind. Keep yourselves from becoming engulfed in what is happening around you. Focus on me, my loves. Be preaching my gospel, regardless of what you see along the way. There is no other truth but me. Vengeance is mine. I give and take away. I am God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all that is in it. I will do what I must do. Do not be shaken. I give you my peace, dear ones. You are not to fear. 
you must listen to me. Satan is coming to take my lost sheep. Guide them back by the power of my word. Your reward is great. Yahushua HaMashiach, Lord and Savior. And the last message I want to share with you guys today was received on the 5th of December. It's a shorter message and I was receiving that upon awakening that morning as I usually receive a lot of the messages. So I was waking up to the Lord telling me about the time frame that we're in and he said the angel of death is upon us and I was a about ready to fall back to sleep when I heard that and then he also said my children which I now receive are my righteous please do take these and all other messages to the Lord in prayer and I want to remind you guys to trust in the Lord with all your heart so that you will not be shaken and as always God bless you